Hey there YouTubers, in this video we're going to be talking a little more about finger technique. Uh, but very different uh, in, than in terms of the finger technique we were talking about last time with the, uh, uh, the touch points, remember those? The touch point system to make the fingers really operate very efficiently and everything and to also keep the fingers very close into the tone holes. Well that's one technique for technical efficiency, but there's also another technique and that is a technique that we use in playing legato clarinet. Um, the major fault, you know, in playing legato clarinet, um, a clarinetist can have, say, perfect embouchure, perfect read, a perfect error, perfect everything, but the one destroyer of legato, of the beautiful, smooth, sinuous connections and all that stuff, can be these little guys right here. If these guys are slapping and banging and slamming and grabbing at the keys and at the tone holes, uh, they're going to destroy that beautiful mood, that, that beautiful effect of uh, seamless, uh, um, almost ball bearing like connections between the notes. Well, here's the main problem with it, uh, as you can see in this video. Uh, notice that, that as the finger goes down, uh, the the speed uh, increases as the finger gets close to the tone hole and then begins to really slap and grab at it. There you go, you see that? The finger moves at a certain speed and then boom, grabs right at the end. Well, there's an exercise that's very much of a tendency for all of us. When we started on the clarinet, we maybe felt insecure, like we were gonna drop the horn or something like that. And uh, we would often grab at the tone holes. Plus we were afraid that things weren't going to cover because maybe when we started out, our fingers didn't cover so well. So we, the only solution was to grip and grab at the clarinet. Well, that's something that we have to grow out of and it just doesn't happen all by itself. It's something that we have to work on. One of the most effective finger techniques was given to me by my teacher, Mr. Opperman, and that uh, was a technique by which the, the fingers uh, began to move very slowly and uh, it, to cover a tone hole, and the speed remained exactly the same all the way down, so right near the end you don't clutch. Uh, one of the things I found that's very helpful to me in learning the technique is to pretend that between my fingers and the tone hole, there's a sponge, and I'm squeezing the sponge down. And then when I relax my fingers, the sponge is, is pushing my fingers back up, like that. Squeeze down, and you're going to have to resist the temptation to grab right there at the end, um, because that's what really destroys the legato. The whole point is to make the smooth connection. Here's how it looks. You see, that's, uh, that's very good. You don't hear any slapping or banging or popping in the fingers like you did with the other technique with the, when I grabbed at the tone holes. And, uh, and uh, once you practice the, this technique and get it sort of second nature, uh, you can get some really lovely effects in phrasing. And it's very effective, especially in legato playing. Um, here are a couple examples.
Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Very, very good, um, good connections, smooth connections, and the fingers aren't slamming and banging and destroying everything. Bad, bad, bad. And it destroys the mood. Even for a person who doesn't know the clarinet and doesn't know the technique, you know, they, they just don't get the right effect from it. Remember when you're playing and you're phrasing, you're trying to create uh, moods and, and uh, e e evoke uh, uh, sentiments and, and uh, play very expressively. And uh, when you're slamming and banging and stuff, uh, if you're trying to produce a really beautiful, quiet, uh, 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 delicate mood, uh, the fingers can destroy it all. So it's a very good technique to practice. Uh, work on it diligently each day until you get the habits where you can control those fingers and overcome that fear that you're not going to cover the tone hole. And this will also tell you a lot about your finger coordination when you do things in slow motion. So practice that for legato fingering technique and you'll end up playing very, very convincing uh, slow movements, very, very beautiful uh, and uh, sinuous lines that will be very attractive for people to listen to. Well, we have a little celebration this week, by the way. Uh, this happens to be uh, almost one year uh, since I began doing these videos, and just this week we got our 200 su subscribers. So 200 subscribers, not too bad for a clarinet, web for a clarinet website, I'd say. And uh, so I want to thank you all who have subscribed, and especially thank you all for all your suggestions and comments and stuff. Uh, sometimes I'm a little slow getting into the comments, uh, but um, I'll, I'll try to do my best. And, uh, and uh, please, if you have questions, uh, any subjects that you would like covered, please don't hesitate to contact me because this is all uh, basically viewer driven, okay? And anyway, thanks again for subscribing. Contact your friends, get them to subscribe. We appreciate you viewing and we appreciate uh, being able to share this information about the clarinet. We hope it's helpful to you.